Today we're going to make a wicked cool white background picture using lots of acrylic paints, tissue paper, stains, and our converted ugly background. If you've been following along, this is the third video in this series. First, we made all the vintage uh, papers for this project, and then we made um, this background for it out of the ugliest background in the world. This is the backside of another piece of art. And today, we're gonna finish it up with a um, project that is going to Follow the lines of this. So we're gonna go in the rule of thirds. So we wanna do here. So it's gonna come down here. There's gonna be a line down here. And then there's gonna be a line across the middle-ish. Let's do this. And most of this is gonna be white or have a whitish color. Um, you won't see it as much of this color, but I wanted to have all this color down first so that we had it to start and we can build on it. So the very first thing I'm gonna do is a little trick. This is um, foil transfer medium, uh, meaning it's sticky and clear, and it's Heidi Swap. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use some of this to mask off some of these colors. So we're gonna put a globs of this on here and we're gonna go and I guess I could clean up my art area, but okay. So we're gonna grab some of this. We're gonna put it on here. We're gonna need way more of that. Okay, there we go. And we're using the same shapes as we used in the um, layers that we previously have used, right? Okay, so let's put a whole bunch of gloppies of that on there. We're gonna put some more of this, and I'm gonna have to let this dry pretty good because this isn't exactly what it's for. I found out it would work for this, but um, this isn't exactly what it's for. It's actually to, um, you let it dry and then you can, use it with Heidi Swap's mink, but I also found it makes uh, clear spots in your background. So, all right, now I'm gonna have to do this pretty carefully. Okay, all right, all right, let's do this. Okay, so I want a little bit up here of this and I want to go off the edges because if you have everything go right to the to the edges then it just looks weird all right so we're going to go right to this edge maybe I want no no that's fine okay we have five things one two three four five okay so that was just a quickie. I'm gonna go wash these off because this is gonna get sticky and gooey and like glue. And then I'll be back when this is dry. All right, it's been a minute since we've been able to play together. And I came in and I was like, my room is a mess. I have to put all of this away. And then I realized I still wanna use all of it. So I left it out. Anyways, so what we're gonna do now is don't forget we have our line. So this is gonna be our line down and this is going to be our line over okay and now i'm going to start putting some of those vintage papers that i made and some ooh, look how cool that is so i'm going to peel apart this cardboard and cardboard is what's called double walled so that means you have the top wall that's this right and that's going to be a good little piece sometimes you have to really work to peel it on the different sides. But double walled means that there's a wall on top and a wall on the bottom, right? So we just wanna get the top wall off. Does that have stuff on it? Nah, not really. Okay, and then if you can get another set of it going, usually you can peel more of it off. There we go. 
And I haven't decided yet how I'm gonna use this, but I definitely know I want it in there for the texture. So I gotta get enough, of, I think I may use the whole width of it. Length of it, length of it. But I don't worry about getting it all off because having some of it there in the grunge that goes with it is actually a beautiful thing. I'm gonna speed through this so you don't have to watch it all. All right, so I have more of it off than I have on, and I want to have at least a piece going each way. And I was thinking I would try tearing stuff, but I feel like this isn't that kind of project where we have to be that raggedy. We've got enough ragged going on. So we're gonna do this one, and then I'm gonna do another piece, but this one's gonna wind up being shorter. Okay, let's see how long we need. I don't want it to go the whole way across. Just kind of bump here. All right, well, well, let's have it go the whole way across and we can always take it off if we don't want it anymore and then we're gonna whitewash this. So we're going with, all right, so now we need a paintbrush and some water. You know Martha's gonna come through, right? All right, so I'm just putting a bunch of water with this. You could put glaze, but I definitely want this to be really, really light, loose. And I don't want it to cover the whole thing because we like that brown, right? We got the brown thing going on. Okay, 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 okay. Had a big day today. I had to publish my video and then put some stuff away for my mother-in-law. All right, maybe, maybe it's not as big a day as it felt like, but it felt like at the time a big day. All right, so this is gonna be mostly white. So what I wanna do here, so there's a couple little places I wanna do stuff. So I don't know if you remember, but in here we did some, uh, some glaze. So now if I do this, the white should stay behind and the glaze should be acting as a resist, right? So I like that. I wanna keep that, that look there. Um, I'm also gonna add some more as we go in the layers, some more of that white. Um, and I don't hate what that did to the background because this is gonna be, let's see, over here, let's do all this in white because this is gonna be all mostly white. And the edges are all gonna be mostly white. And I don't want any of this to be perfect, right? Like I want this to be drippy droppy, higgledy piggledy, nothing perfect. And I might even do a little bit of this guy and this guy to take some of it off. Kind of like how it looks when we take it off. All right, that rag is done. Okay, so now we have our long piece and our short piece. All right, now we need some stuff. All right, so let's do a little bit of this because this is always good for texture. We're gonna do this on top. All right, figured that one out. Do this on top. And I need a long piece for the side. This one I definitely wanna. All right, I want this. Oops, there we go. So let's get those down. Sometimes when you're doing this kind of thing, you just gotta see what's happening, right? You gotta see where it's going. And this is why I'm always telling you not to worry and not to get attached to any layers because as it goes, there's gonna be more and more layers here and you don't want to worry because you're gonna just keep putting stuff on there, right? The 
Ooh, a wrinkle. I love when wrinkles happen. Free texture. Okay. So let's do let's do this side first. can do this side. Well, that side's going to make a little, little snuggy off the end. Okay. And then we made all of this paper, which I've used a lot of already. So we got this guy. Remember we had this guy underneath? I think we may want a little, maybe not, maybe not. Don't get, don't get too, too soon yet. Okay. So I definitely am gonna want this in here. And I think maybe half of it or part of it. Where's the other thing? I want some of this in here. And this may go like this to be the background for this. Because I have this that has to go underneath here. Okay, so this is gonna go underneath here. I'm gonna make a circle out of there, and then I've got this, which I love. Okay, so for sure I need this. So the underneath part that's gonna get covered, I'm gonna use this piece with the, the little bit at the top. So that's gonna go there. Okay, and then I love this middle part. So we're gonna go right and this is going to go behind here oh it's already sticking look at that yay all right okay so let's get this down i think i want this to be a a raggedy edge faux show we don't want that to have an edge sticking up there looking weird. And this one absorbs liquid like crazy, so I don't want it to, um, I want to cover it because I want it to be able to, um, I want to be able to have more control. I don't want it to just suck up something that I'm not expecting it to, right? Okay, so we got this. Let's get this all nice and juicy. Um, I could have, since it's a little bit heavier paper, I could have um, wet it first, and that would have made it stick better. Okay, let's see. I have this really good piece. Let's put that over on the edge. Okay. Right. Okay. And then don't forget we got these guys. Where'd they go? Okay. Here we go with these guys. I think these guys are gonna move a teeny bit off to the side. worried that this is too big I'm gonna rip this in half I don't want to I don't want to have to baby it just because it looks like it should go together it can be two pieces in my art um, so I almost feel like if we did that no nope, I like well yeah get that in there get that under there ah, there we go that under there then maybe we have this somewhere else, or we don't use it in this one. That's always fine. Don't don't fret about that. Then we have this. Okay, are these under things? These are under things. Oh, cool, under things. Nice. I love when they tell me where they're supposed to go, and then I don't have to worry about them because we are gonna do. 
another layer of something, either white or brown. I have to see what I feel like we need the most of. I do want this kind of to be in the middle. And then this one we for sure have to do because this one takes a ton of stains and paints and let's make sure we get the edge of him down. So we got him down. Let's see. Let's put these guys down and then we'll dry and then we'll come back. I don't want this in the middle, so I'm going to do it there. Um, and then obviously we have to let this dry. We can't do anything with this until it's dry. But I feel like we have a nice start on a background. Uh oh, we got to stick this guy underneath here. All right, there we go. Well, come to find out he did go all the way to the edge. Nice, okay. So that is gonna be it for us right this second. So I'm thinking I want to put some of these people on here so this is a little gypsy girl these are these are strange people this lady could be sitting here right like on the edge of here i kind of like that and do we want her to kind of be their mom do we want her to be the mom of the gypsy girl? I want the gypsy girl to save for later. Let me see if I have any more. Oh, I have another girl. I could kind of make this a girl power kind of thing. All right, who else do I got? Okay, I got a boy. Who could be holding her arm. I've got these creepy girls. Oh, those creepy girls got it. Either we're going full on creep or we're not doing creep. We could do old people sitting on our thing. I kind of like this lady there. I got this, but I'm not doing that this time. Okay. So I think these are too much. What, who else do we have? We've got these girls. Okay, so if we go all dark, right? We could even put him behind here. Is there somebody else? Yep, there was somebody else back there. But if we want to tell a story, I have decided on these kids and this lady, and then this looks good here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use all of the lovely white stuff that I can find right now. And sometimes I do a project like this just so that I can use the things that I, I wouldn't always use in from my stash. So this is white eye zinc. And I will obviously distress these kids and these people and things like that but let's get them off to the side now do we want to well let's not because then we would have to stop and do this so the first thing I'm going to do okay the first thing I'm going to do is this uh, texture it's called I zinc ice it's really cool I've used it before and functionally what it is, is it's like a glaze. We're gonna put it here and there, maybe three. Okay, that's good. All right, now don't forget, if you're a righty, you wanna do things right-handed, and if you're a lefty, you wanna do things left-handed, right? So I'm gonna do this in a way that makes it easy for me to do it. 
kind of pulling it this way because I'm already. Okay, there we go. Now we're getting some in that. That's what I want. I want to get it in that triangly bits. I like that it kind of pulled up on that corner. Isn't there something up here too? Yeah. Okay, nice. I like what we're doing up here. Kind of catch that. All right, now let's do some down here. Now I want to do that same thing, catch those triangles. Now, for this one, I found the other day that the plastic one did a really good job because it has a little bit more um, flexibility, right? So I want to kind of I want to scritch little marks in, little vintagey bits, get it over here. Okay, now this is where I really want to get it like kind of almost consistently across here. Okay, that looks good. And this will stick to everything. So you have to really wash this off your spatulas and stuff or it will stick. Now this is I Zinc Spray and it, it's no clog. It's my favorite spray because it's no clog. Um, so I wanna get some white in here, see what happens. See if any of it will move around a little bit. All right. And then here comes the bada bing, bada boom. The big one. This is acrylic um, stain. Acrylic stain? Yeah. Acrylic ink. Um, and this will move around. So I want this to move around. into the nooks and crannies of stuff in this piece. All right. All right, let's get this to... All right, I'm gonna hold it up like this for a while. Get it moving down. Then hold it up like this for a while and get it moving up. Trying to get it moving over. These guys aren't moving, so we gotta encourage them. This guy's stuck. What's happening with him? There we go. This guy's stuck. We're getting some nice splotchy stuff. Oh, the bottom's going. See how it started rolling? I like that. Okay, so that was that was kind of. Oh, I want to get more background over here. All right, so I got to do this because I got to get some more back over here, and that's a lot, right? So there's a chance. Oops. There's a chance it'll run without spraying, but let's see, because I'd like it to, it won't run without spraying. Okay, boop, boop, boop. I got some of the, the uh, other stuff running. Okay, all right, now obviously, 
this is the kind of thing that we're going to have to wait overnight to get this to dry. Just the, um, just the, uh, eye zinc ice takes overnight here to dry anyways. All right, let's see. Can we, while we're here, can we get some of our diamonds back by putting a little bit of this on there? Choo, choo, choo. Here we go, we grunge that up a little bit. You always wanna like, if you're gonna sop up some stuff, then you wanna use something you can use in the future to do it, right? Now this, with all this lusciousness, might turn into under here, I didn't like how dark that was. So we're gonna put it on here. It's gonna stick because acrylic paint is functionally blue. So we're gonna put this on here. We'll do this. We'll give it a couple shushies. And then we will see tomorrow how we like it. I think I still want the one with color, but I like that we'll have like kind of a white backgroundy thing going on. Okay, I am ready for this project to be done. I feel like I've been working on it for three days because I have. Usually I'm a one day kind of crafter, but. Okay, so I love how everything is going. We are going to now use um, washi tape, which we haven't used. I've had it out here this whole time because I knew I was going to use it in this part. We are going to use white tissue paper. I don't know if you can see this. This is white tissue paper with white acrylic paint on it. We may use a little bit of white acrylic paint. Martha, yay! But let's get going. We need to make some layers here. Um... And I'm gonna take this piece of tape, and this is Tim Holtz tape, and I don't want any of these to be like perfect squares, and I want them to be little tiny pieces, right? So we're gonna come across here with a little tiny piece of washi tape. Push it down real good. We're gonna use another piece up here. All right, now let's get a couple more pieces. This one's really cool, this is like a, uh, old ledger paper. Let's get this out of the way so we can see what we're doing. And we're gonna put washi tape on a couple of different layers. Okay, there we go. All right, so let's get a little piece up here. I love that. And you'll see me, sometimes I use a glue stick to stick it down, but I, I'm gonna have other layers, I think, over this. Oh, and while you were gone, I did a layer of clear gesso. It's here somewhere. Um, I'm actually excited to finish this up so I can clean my craft room. Okay, let's put this down here. And then we have one more kind, this kind. We're gonna go back with it twice, um, with washi tape twice. So we're gonna put some washi tape down, we're gonna put some layers down, and then we're gonna put some more washi tape down. And if you rub washi tape in, it's a low tack tape, but it will, it will stick eventually. Do we want a little piece over her? We do. There we go. All right. Um, now I went to my Big Shot, which is a die cutting machine. And I used the Isink um, papers we made in the vintage paper section video. And I made this clock and some gears. Because I know I'm going to put this 
I don't actually have to pull all this stuff out because I'm only, well, maybe I'll use the rest of it somewhere else. There we go, there's that. Let's get all those bits off of here. And I want this to be a half a circle. So this is gonna go under here like this. Okay, right like that. Nice. And then we're also gonna use our half a circle of this. Now let's cut it in half and then we'll see which half we like the best. Okay. Ooh, this half has all the, has all the tea stains on it. Okay, I want them to be offset a little bit. I don't want them to be right in the middly middles of each other. So let's go ahead and stick that. Let's stick the bottom one down. Let's put some washi tape, maybe a little paper, paper thing. And then this today is all about layering. All right, we want to find one that's already ruined. I know it may sound like I just always say that, but I have like a thousand of them. Okay, so we're going to come over here and a little Mod Podge. Now we gotta scooch this up under there. I could probably have done this before I glued her down, but I was in a gluing mood. Okay, there we go. Let's see how far we can get that over there. All right. Fine if it's a little bit offset. All right, let's do this. I'm just making this kind of a a base to hold my to explain why that is up there, right? All right, so that's there. Now let's put a little something something in here. We have, okay, this is good. We're gonna get a little bit of water on a brush. Water bottle. And a brush. And we're just gonna get, did that work? Just going to kind of rip this higgledy piggledy. Oh, how about if we do this? We kind of have a line here that I can cut off. Here, this. Here, this. Go. Okay. I want this to be up in here. And you'll see once we do this, there is white paint in the same stamping pattern or stencil pattern that we did before. You'll see. It'll come out. See how it's starting to show and it will, that tissue paper will melt, but it just gives me the ability to put little white layers without having to um, stamp or stencil them again. Okay, there we go. Let's get that nice and gooey. While we're doing that, let's do this. Let's get this up in this corner. Because you'll be able to see some of this through it. We don't want to lose all that yummy goodness we made. 
but I also want it to be kind of a whitish background so our peeps and stuff can come off of it. And we may wind up covering it all. We may wind up covering just a little bit. I don't know yet. This is one that, that sometimes I, I have them in my head and I just make them, right? And then sometimes I don't have them all in my head yet and I have to make them as I go, which is weirder for me, not for you. All right. We want a little piece down here, yes, because this is very colorful. Um, so at the very least, I want to get, knock back a little bit of the color that's down here. And that tore because my hand is covered in glue. It's okay. What is it? Say it with me. Texture. Okay, so that's going good. That's going good. Okay. This little thing, do we want it somewhere? I think I'm trying too hard. Okay, so let's go ahead and, oh, let's do... I really like this washi tape. This is gonna be the main one. So let's go ahead and put a little piece of this under here. Nice, okay. And All right, so let's go ahead and put this down now that we have stuff in between it. There we go. All right, we'll go down that way. Oh, I forgot to show you the gears I made. They're pretty cool. All right, that's good. I love this. I love what's going on here. Where's our gears? Where'd they go? Here's the gears. I know what those are going to go. I am just going to take a tiny, which is good. Then we'll have another little piece of this to use somewhere. But I'm going to hook this along this edge right like that. gear just doesn't want to stick down, does it? That's okay. All right, now let's do another piece of different washi tape. I kind of like, uh, which one do I like better? Let's go with this one. And uh, I think these are Tim Holtz washi tapes. Ooh, this has got a little man on it. Let's put this little man up underneath. And then I want to tear it. And then maybe we have it come out here, right behind her head. Ooh, that's cool. Almost like we meant to do it. Okay, so that's good. This is way too much. So let's get us a little piece of something, something to put on there. And we're going to go right over here. We want this to, we want to keep everything going together. So if we have each layer kind of as, as its own separate little thing, then it doesn't feel like it's a piece that all goes together. So make sure you layer over top of stuff. I 
And I think that's why I like tissue paper so much because you can really melt it with the glue into any shape you want. Okay, all right. So that's giving us something over there. I really don't like, okay, I have a really cool piece of this. Ooh, let's do this. I really don't like how bright this gear is. So let's, let's knock it down with a little piece of Tim Holtz tissue paper. Let's just scooch it right under there. Oh, nice, love it, love it. Okay, that is neat. Okay, there we go, all right. Now, I feel like the kids are, let's go ahead and get another little piece of this. All right, there we go. All right, I wanna go over. There, we can do that and kind of go over their feet. Too much, too much. Okay, we just wanna tag the edge of that. Right, right there, tag the edge of that. get frustrated you just have to make it a little give it a second to make it melty and it'll melt and it'll go down in all those little nooks and crannies okay I like that I feel like we got something going on there okay now let's do some more white tissue paper this is kind of that same um, Moroccan kind of feeling stuff we had before that there do we want that to go under do we hate that it's a little pointy we hated that it was a little pointy okay oh that'll go right there cover up this brown Melty, melty. See over here where it melted? Once it dries, the stuff beneath it will show through. All right, let's do a little piece of this. Ooh, we got one that'll curl around the top of their heads. Do we want that? Too obvious? Now this is gonna kind of be fitting in my white pieces. I have lots of it made, so if we need more, we can make more. And where, um, where it doubles, it won't be as translucent. Okay, that's good, that's good, that's good. A little something in there. Oh, you know what I have that I love? We're gonna put this over one of the girls. I have these little tickets that I just love. All right, can I get it behind there? All right. And then I only want about half of this. Okay, perfect. Oh, this is gonna be a pain in the butt. 
All right, I want it behind her head and behind her shoulder. We can do a wrinkle and then kind of over this girl. Oh, this got stuck to me. Let's put that back. Can we put it back? We can't put it back. All right, that's fine. All right, and then we'll do this. And they're like little tickets. They're very cool. All right, and then I definitely want a piece of this one. Oh, we already have that. Do we want this kind? Yeah, I want this kind. It seems less obtrusive than everything else. A little piece of washi tape here. We're just gonna leave a big old hunk of something down there? I don't think so. Oh, my favorite kind. Okay, so we're gonna use my favorite kind of tissue paper. Which is Harlequin patterned. And I can have a line because I'm gonna put it right on this line right there, maybe under that lady. Yep, and we're gonna, I want it to, oh, let's have it cover some of it and then we'll decide what we're gonna do. I always go less, cause if I go less, then I can do more later. I can't hardly do less later. Like you can't take a layer off. I guess you could, but it'd be hard. Okay, let's stick this right under her dress. This is getting very gooey, you guys. All right. <laughs> it's melting as soon as it hits because it's covered in Mod Podge. Okay, let's see. All right, see, now I think this is light enough that I can live with it. Plus, we're going to be doing a couple other little things while this is wet. Let's do a piece of washi tape right there. Okay, I need, I need something there. What do I need? No, that's not big enough. I need a little bit bigger one. And this one has actual um, paint on it, so I don't know what this is going to be. But we can shove it up under her skirt. Sorry, lady. Sorry, Mom. That didn't sound very nice. It's starting to get full up there. Okay, there we go. Cool, 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 cool. Shoot, I glued myself to the page again. Okay. Oh. We need something over her. She is way, way too. Okay. I don't want her sticking out like a poor little sore thumb, right? Now that matte Mod Podge will make her less glossy. And at the end, we can decide if we want them glossy, we can go back on with um, regular Mod Podge. Okay, now she needs a piece of washi tape. Let's go with something different. She can have a piece of this cigar paper.
think I'm going to do a wee bit of that fun washi tape we like. Just a, just a smidge. Okay, cool. All right, so while we're waiting for this, so what I like to do sometimes is hold it out, and if I hold it out, this whole area down here is super distracting. So we're going to... We are going to cover that up. Not totally, because this is, this is tissue paper, so it won't cover it completely, but it will knock down that bright color so that we don't have some distracting bottom thing going on. All right, that's good. Well, let's grab a piece of this. Oh, that's good, right there. Pulling our uh, corrugated paper in, right? That's what we wanna do. We want everything to be hooked together so it feels like it's one piece. And I like the paper. I was gonna stamp, but I think I'm gonna go with using this paper as the cool part. So then I don't have to stamp. But I gotta have kind of a raggedy edge over here. All right, so let's do this here. Then, if we're just going to use this, we're going to put this guy down in the corner. See, sometimes, sometimes not knowing what you're doing till you're doing it helps. Okay, let's, we need something to anchor that corner. Got a little piece up here. Ooh, look, I have a ticket. Maybe they're traveling somewhere. Okay. Okay, you just wanna make sure your, your eye will move around. I need a little, just a little something. This is what I need. Right there. A little piece of a map, because they're traveling. I really want this to have a top frame, but I don't want to get it too close to the kids. So let's do that, get that up there. And then I don't want it to have like a weird, oh, that, that helped me a lot. I don't know about you, but I like that a lot. Okay, now I am going to, yay, I can start to clean up my craft room. I feel like we're getting close. And I want this to be white. I have 
Um, I did get out my Distress Crayons, but I want this to be, and I'm really bad at doing white because dark is my color. But what I'm gonna do for a last little bit here. Oh, Martha. Is use some acrylic paint and a paintbrush and just real lightly knock down some of what I feel like is too much. around these corners, and this way I can get in closer to him. And I'm just trying to get a feel for anywhere that I feel like stuff is jumping off and taking away from our three, from our focal points, right? That's good, I like that. Okay, if I like that, then maybe I like a little bit more of it. Okay, oh, I love that you can see through that. I love that. Oh, I feel like that's really, that is really sticking out to me. Sticking it back on. Oh my god, I love it. Okay. I think we're calling it. We're calling it done. So, thanks for coming along with me. I hope you love it. I will have a little video at the very end where I show you how it turned out, and thanks for playing with me. Okay, I just wanna give you a little tour of the final. Final, final. Okay, looking good. And this is, this, this is really, I think this came out so well. I'm so pleased with how it turned out. Hopefully that helps. Tara Jacobson, RT for RT Life.